All right, so here we're looking at ratios. And we're going to ask ourselves if the ratios are equivalent and how we're going to go, how we can go about doing that. Okay. All right. The whenever we have ratios, they're equivalent if we can simplify them to the same thing. Okay. So that's really the end all and be all of if equations are if two ratios are equivalent. So ratios. When we have ratios, we're comparing two quantities. A lot of times we, we look at them as fractions, kind of like this. Okay, we display them out as fractions. To tell if both, if the two ratios are equivalent, we have to look at each, each number. So we're going to look at the top number here, and we're going to ask ourselves, how could I take that 3 and turn it into, what would I do to take a 3 and turn it into to 24. I can either multiply or divide. Okay, so if I go, I'm like 3 and 24. Okay, well, I know that 3 times 8 is 24. Okay, now in order for this to be equivalent, that, that sentence has to be true on the bottom too. So I'm going to check, okay, is 12 times 8 96. And when I ask myself, I go, yeah, 12 times 8 is 96. So this one checks out, and this one checks out, and we were able to multiply by the exact same number, okay? So that, that ends up working out for us. So let's go ahead and check on the one over here. 81, 30, 81, to 36 over 9 over to 6, or 9 to 6. Okay, so 81 to 9. Obviously, I'm going from a big number to a small number, so I'm going to have to think about my dividing. Okay, I'm dividing this number. All right, so 81 divided by 9 will give me 9. Okay, and then so in order to check that and make sure, I have to go ahead and say, all right, on here, 36 turned into 6. Well, the only way to do that is to divide by 6, not 9. So here I divide by 9. Here I divide by 6. So I would say, no, these are not equivalent because I'm not multiplying or dividing by the same number on top and bottom to get my answer, okay? Unlike over here, I multiplied by 8. I multiplied by 8 and it worked out. Here, it does not work out, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna have you go, go ahead and try this out on your own by hitting pause and try it out on your own and then you can check. So are these two ratios equivalent to each other? Okay, 36 to six. Okay, I think to myself, how did 36 turn into six? Oh, 30, I know that 36 divided by 6 gives me 6. Now, does that work on the bottom too? 12 to 2? Oh, yeah. Well, it's 12 divided by 6 gives me 2. So, yes. Equivalent. It's probably better I do that than it was in a in a text box, but I'm writing it out here. Okay, so yes, they're equivalent. Okay, because I was able to divide the top and the bottom by the same number to get my new ratio. So they're equivalent. Um, one other thing you can do is the cross multiplying method. Okay, so we can also check equivalency with cross multiplying method all right and to give you guys that i'm going to get this annotation out of the way to check with the cross multiplying method some people prefer this method because it's easier to remember all i have to do is start at one number okay so i'm so in this case i'm going to start with the two okay and i'm going to go across and i'm going to multiply Okay, so 
2 times 36 ends up giving me 72. And then I should, and then I'm going to go down here. And when I go down, I cross a fraction bar. Anytime you cross a fraction bar, remember that's a division sign. So I'm going to divide by 12. And 72 divided by 12 does give me 6. So if this works, then yes, it is equivalent. Okay. So that's another that's another way to check equivalency.